Well, with less than a month until Election Day, the North Carolina Senate race is heating up. Senator Kay Hagan and State House Speaker Tom Tillis, they are still neck and neck. The latest poll shows Hagan with a slight lead over Tillis, though, just two points ahead. This race, though, looks like it could go either way. Tuesday night's debate between the two candidates is now leading to a lot of finger pointing. As John Kemp tells us, they're each accusing the other of skipping out on work to chase down campaign donations. Did you miss any of those meetings specifically for a fundraiser? You know, there was one. That post-debate admission by Senator Kay Hagan touched off a flurry of finger pointing. But you know what? Speaker Tillis' hometown newspaper called on him to resign. That's true. This op-ed in the Charlotte Observer calls on Tillis to step down, calling him out for missing big votes on guns, immigration, and a $2.5 billion tax package Also, he could raise money for his campaign. John, if I had missed half of the important things that we were doing in North Carolina, that'd be an issue to talk about. Today, Tillis dismissed questions about his own attendance as leader of the state house. My attendance record and, and the productivity of the legislature is not what's being or being voted on in November. Instead, he chastised Hagan for missing more than two dozen armed services committee meetings over the past two years, at least once, to raise money. But Democrats say Hagan is regularly briefed on national security issues, regardless of missing meetings. I think it's a false argument that, uh, you know, Senator Hagan would not be prioritizing national security. This is a critical issue to her. What will voters make of all this? Someone's asleep at the switch. At least one, Paul Passero, a Vietnam vet with the group Concerned Veterans for America, says it doesn't look good for Hagan. The issue we're talking about right now is an issue that's a, that's a national security issue. North Carolina families don't care where she was, if she was at a fundraiser at, or at a recital, but she wasn't where we thought she should be.